Hey, this is Eugene Go, and this is my tutorial of We Meet in Dreams. So, We Meet in Dreams is uh, actually a fairly difficult song, but I'm gonna try to make it simple for you. So, the first part of the intro basically goes like this. So, what I'm doing there is, as you can see, um, the left hand just plays a D. C, B flat, and a G. And when the left hand is playing a D, the right hand plays this three notes. So, put your thumb here, second finger here on the A, and the pinky on the D, and you play. And the pattern is. Five, one, two, five, one, two, five, one, two, five, two, one. And that's only for the first chord. So the, the rest of the chords, um, you'll be doing a one, two, five pattern like, like this. But only for this D chord, you go five, one, two, five, one, two, five, one, two, five, two, one. For the last, for the fourth cycle. And after that, you go to the C. Uh, left hand plays a C, and the right hand um, plays a F, A, and an E. So if you notice throughout the first part of the intro, the right hand will always play these two notes. Um, I'm just going to play the intro on the right hand, you'll see what I mean. So if you notice, my right hand always hits the F and the A on the first two fingers. So that's how it goes. So on the first chord, you start with a... And then you go to a C here, and you press an E on the right hand. Five, one, two, five, one, two, five, one, two, five. And then left hand goes to a B flat, right hand... Um, to a D. Similar pattern, 5, 1, 2, 5. And next is the G on your left hand and a F on your pinky of the right hand. So, so the number of cycles are always the same. One, two, three, four. There are four cycles, and on the fourth cycle, there is a change of order of the first and second finger. So, D for the first chord. There's a change in the last cycle. So, that's the only um, complicated part, but the rest of it is pretty straightforward because um, they all go by the 1 2 5 cycle. Play together with both hands, it's going to sound like this. And uh, that's the first part of the intro, just a small part of the song. So the second part of the intro would go like this. I'm playing a D on the left hand, followed by an E, a B flat, and C. So, um, and the right hand is doing a, for the D, it's doing the same as the first part of the intro. So, if you remember, you have five, one, two, five, three times, and the fourth time, it's a reverse. One, two, three, four. And for the second chord, which is an E on the left hand, the right hand does a. So it's F, G, and C. Four times as usual, the normal cycle. Five, one, two, five, one, two, five, one, two, five, one, two. 
and then on the B flat, the right hand does the same cycle but on the D, F, and A. So. And then for the fourth chord, C, which is C on the left hand, right hand does the same as for the second chord. So F, G, C. So I'm just going to play it again um, really slowly. It will go like this, the second part of the intro. The intro has four parts and the third part would be the same as the first part. So it would go just like how the first one went. Right? So that means the first and the third are the same. The second one is the one that we just went through. And all three parts together would sound like this. I'm going to play it a bit slowly. Now the fourth part um, would be slightly different from the first three parts, although it's still part of the intro. So the fourth part of the intro um, is going to be a bit different from the first three, and um, it's different because uh, the right hand is doing a bit more and will stretch out across um, a bigger range. And um, the pattern also will be different. Instead of five one two five one two five, it's now five two um, five two one five two one five two one five two one four times again as usual and um, let me just play it for you slowly first so what's going on is my left hand is playing a D on the left hand B flat G and A and my right hand is doing a 5 to one pattern Instead of 5 1 2 5, now it's 5 2 1 all the way. So 5 2 1, and then go to the E. Right, the first one is the first uh, chord is the same as the first, second, and third intro. How it starts, but only twice, two, two cycles. Dun, 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 dun. Go to the E. So The left hand goes to a B flat, and the right hand does a. So it's um, basically the same pattern again, and F A F, F A F, E A F, E A F. So again, it would be. up to the to the higher so the G the uh, the left hand goes to a G and you hit the A A B flat G B flat B flat G F B flat G G B flat G so you're basically doing these four notes right but you are hitting these two notes in between just like 5 to 1, 5 to 1, the pattern that I said, so... Right, so with the left hand, it will go, at, go like... Right, so if, if you don't exactly know where I am right now, I'm going to play the fourth part of the intro again, it's actually 
gonna sound like this. Right, this up to the G, and then it ends on the A minor. So A on the left hand and E A C on the right hand for six cycles. And that's on to the, um, the part where all the orchestras come in. And so I'm going to play you the whole intro. It will sound like this. I'm going to play slow. find the fourth part a bit hard to stretch right then you can also play instead of a um, instead of hitting the B flat and G for the two and one you can hit the D and B flat so instead of you can hit a That makes it closer and uh, not too far a stretch. It make the fourth part sound like this. It's not much of a difference, so yeah, you can do that. Now, after the intro is a part where all the orchestras come in and the high piano line comes in, and let's just call that the verse. And this is going to be the hardest part of the song uh, because the timing and the coordination of both hands are quite complex and um, it will go like this. And that's, the, that's just the first part and what's going on there is uh, right hand is doing the same thing but the left hand is um, doing something different. So right is doing the same as uh, the first part of the intro, the first uh, section. together that would be the hard part and what why it's hard is that uh, each note over here on the left hand goes with two notes on the right hand so the right hand is playing and when the right hand starts I mean it starts together and right one two next note on the left hand and it's difficult because the right hand is playing in groups of three, but you need to kind of coordinate such that it would uh, they would come together in twos. So. Basically what you want to do is you want to learn up the left hand first before you start trying both hands. So the left hand would be C, B flat. Right, so be able to play 
that smoothly first. And you can start trying that with the right hand together. And remember to try that slowly first. So once you're able to play it fast and you should be able to link it back to the first intro. So from the fourth part of the intro leading to the verse, it would sound like this. So the second part of the verse uh, would be um, the same as the second part of the intro uh, on the right hand. So. That's all. So uh, on the left hand it would be D, the same notes for the first three chords, C, G, C, E, F, D, B flat, F, B flat, F, D, B flat, and the last one would be different, it would be C, G, C, E, F, D. So again, the left hand for the second part of the verse would be So basically together it would be like this. Right? So the whole verse would be a set of two, that's all. That's the hardest parts of the song. And the, the whole verse would sound like that. So after the verse would be um, this soft part and uh, this part will just repeat until the end. So the left hand would play a D, B flat, F and C. And the right hand would go So it's an A, D, and F together, and then and then you go to the B flat, B flat, D, F, and then again like that, and then F A C, and after that C F. And go to a C, G, C, E, and then F, E, C. So together it would be. And you just repeat that twice. So I'm going to play that slowly. And after that part, you're going to play the same thing on the right hand. But the left hand is going to play a bit more, so the left hand will play a D, A, D, F, D, A, B flat, F, B flat, C, B flat, 
F and then F C F G F C and then C G C E C G E and the right hand will play the same thing so it will go like this So I'm just gonna play the whole um the whole of it from the soft part onwards after right after the verse.
that's how the song ends. So basically, I'm playing a same the same thing on my left hand D, B flat, F, and C the same notes as the previous part, the quiet part. So um, my my right hand will be playing a F A and a D. So together. Again, it be D minor, A, C, F, B flat, F, B flat, D, and then you go to F, F, A, C, F, A, C, C chord, that's a C on the left hand and a G, C, E on the right hand, and then after that you play this again, F, E, C, so that's all. And then it repeats twice. So again, F A D A C F B flat F B flat D and then F which is a F A C and then F A C and a C which is a G C E and then again F A C. After the last F E C, you're gonna repeat that F E C three times. So the last C chord, G C E, you're gonna play F E C F E C F E C F E C, and then you just slow down, and then you go into a D minor. So F A and D on the right hand, and you play an octave D on the left. So. That's how you play the song. So from the right hand runs, we are going to go to the end and um, let's see how that sounds. I'm just going to play the last set of the right hand runs. So that's all for We Meet in Dreams and it's a bit difficult on some parts due to the coordination and the speed of playing the notes but I've simplified it by changing some notes to make it a bit more basic but yet not uh, drifting away from the original sound of the song. So I hope I've made it easy enough for you to play and if you have any questions do feel free to message me and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.